True Hoop TV, where David Thorsten and watching the NBA's sophomores. And all anyone cares about, David, is how's Giannis Antetokounmpo doing? Mr. Antetokounmpo, as you so eloquently state, is doing very well. Yeah, the game is slowing down for him. He's, you know, we saw last year right away uh, what an amazing kind of person he was. And uh, his, his length and athleticism and, and skill level was, was probably surprisingly good, considering he, he wasn't an American-born or, or grew up in the Euro Leagues or whatever. But uh, he, he's gotten better. He just, he, he just seems more in command and control, to use those two words, command and control, of his game. Uh, and contrasts nicely with the, the excellent and precocious rookie Jabari Parker. So the Bucks thought maybe they found themselves a star last year, and nothing's changed that really. You have floated him as potential up around MVP level. Is that still true? Well, there's a, there's a lot of variables in place of that, that, of course, we can't know uh, just because we, it's not like we followed him for five years. But if you want to talk about what do MVPs look like, Really tall, really long, really athletic, really skilled, love the game, great teammates. I mean, all those are checked in bold check marks, right, with him. And, and it seems to be in a, in a franchise that wants to embrace that part of him and not kind of make him into a role player. He's playing some point guard, Henry. I'll remind you that LeBron James played some point guard as a rookie, I believe for Paul Silas. Uh, and I think that's smart for his development. I don't think he's a point guard. I don't think that's where his future is. But it helps his ball handling. It helps his basketball IQ and understanding how to play. Uh, this is also a guy that can be a plus defender, not just a great offensive player. Another reason why we think he could be an elite player. And yet he's not atop your sophomore rankings. It, it, it's a daily grind right now because there's some other good players in there. And, and I think I'll probably surprise everyone to say that, that Gorky Jang might be our best sophomore as it stands today. Uh, and it's a little bit surprising only because he did not have a good preseason. He did not look good at the beginning of the regular season. Uh, and obviously, I've got players that I know very well in that franchise. They were disappointed, as was everyone that follows Minnesota, in kind of his lack of motor. And yet, here we are, a month into the season, he's right atop amongst the top few for PER. His assist rate is really high, which I think might surprise people. He's making 66% of his shots at the rim. He doesn't defend the rim as well as he should, but he's still blocking over a shot a game and, and, and well, almost, you know, two and a half, almost three blocks maybe per 48. Uh, I think he needs to get a better motor, Henry, if he wants to be a great player, but he's certainly a very good player right now. And he's almost 25, so he's a second year player, but he's not a baby. Uh, he's one of those guys who makes me happy we have advanced stats because I think the casual observer would see the lack of realizing his full potential and that. Lack of motor things makes you feel like he couldn't possibly be that great. But some big, quick players are just super effective even when you can see what they're doing wrong. Uh, it's a really insightful point. Uh, he's also got, and this is not typical for a, a tall, long, kind of thin guy. Uh, he's got great hands. He, he, his offensive rebound rate is one of the best in the NBA for centers. He's a solid defensive rebounder, not a great defensive rebounder. Another place where I think motor factors in, Henry. But he, he, no doubt he's an effective player. He's a problem. He's a big, long, tall problem for opponents. And, he, and as much as he likes to shoot the outside shot, which is unblockable, but it's not great right now, I do think he can be great. He's got a little Marc Gasol in terms of the way it looks. He's not as good a shooter as Gasol, obviously. But he, he's going to be really good at shot fake, one dribble attack. Uh, right now he travels when he does it. But I think as he gets his timing and skills down for that, he'll be good. But, but my point is, he doesn't mind hanging around the rim. This is not a guy that just wants to float on the perimeter like fellow sophomore Anthony Bennett, who is much improved from last year. Someone Minnesota should be excited about. But he spends too much time on the perimeter, whereas Gorgie still spends most of his time offensively around the rim. And, he, and, he, and he's a factor down there because he, is, he does have that length and those great hands. All right. Thank you, David. See you, bud.